Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back. We have some huge news today. Which you can probably tell by the title of this video that we're, we're pregnant. pregnant. Yay! We yeah. cannot believe that it happened that fast, <laughs> to be honest with you. It was fast and we didn't do anything different, you know. It, yeah. um, it was all in God's just, hands. It was awesome. And yeah. we got a rainbow baby now. Yay! And it's, it's healthy. It's been so hard holding on to the secret. We've actually been holding on to it for what um three months three months now just because of what happened last time we wanted to make sure that this baby was healthy so if you are new to our channel you may not know but we actually had a miscarriage back in may of this year and we moved down to florida right after that so as soon as we got down to florida Chaz was actually down here a couple of weeks before i was mm -hmm. and as soon as i got down here we got pregnant immediately so <laughs> Housewarming gift, I guess. Building a nest. <laughs> Building a nest, yeah. yeah. So it was just crazy because we weren't, I don't know. I don't know if it was, it just it just happened. So God is so good. I, I was not expecting it to happen that fast. Um, so yeah, we have lived here for three months and now we've been pregnant for three months, yeah. which is crazy to say. I think it took you off, like, off guard, right? Yeah. We aren't even done setting up the house yet. Yeah. And trying to do that in your first trimester of pregnancy is the hardest thing. Like I yeah. just, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so exhausted every single day. I mean, it's a good thing, honestly, that I'm not teaching this year because I don't know if I can do it. I was so exhausted my whole first trimester and feeling sick and it just, it was horrible. <laughs> but it was such a blessing because I knew that because I was feeling all of those symptoms that I had lost before, that yeah. that was probably a good sign. And so far, baby is healthy. This was the first pregnancy test that I got a positive on. It was very, very faint. And that was on the 25th of June. I don't know if you guys can even see that line. Unless but Chaz, too. no, oh, it's, still there. Faded. it's there. Yeah. But yeah. Chaz couldn't really see it at first when I showed him and he was like, uh, are you sure? So in this video, we are going to include some footage from when I found out that I was pregnant and it was totally unexpected. So I apologize for that. And then when I told Chaz that he was going to be a dad again. So yeah. yeah. And you know, I, I, it was kind of bittersweet. I think you'll see in the video the first time we got pregnant, it was like mind blowing. And this time I was just kind of, I was just very nervous. I was excited, but also scared at the same time that it could happen again. And I didn't want to go through that again. I didn't want us to go yeah. through that again yeah. and lose all hope. So uh, we've been very um, cautiously optimistic on this one, just kind of holding back our tapering our expectations, you know, just make, taking it one week at a time. Every checkup is kind of um, scary and, and nerve wracking too, because we've always had a, a negative um, experience when we mm -hmm. went to the doctor. Um, from the first from one. From the first one. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'm getting more and more excited each time now that you're seeing like more symptoms, you're way further along and now into your second trimester. Yes. Almost. Almost. Yeah. yeah. So I'm actually 13 weeks, three days today. Yeah. And we have filmed all of the ultrasounds that I've had so far and telling our families and all of that. So stay tuned for those videos because those will be separate videos that we put out for you guys to share. But that way you guys can see, you know, how our ultrasounds have been going and the things mm -hmm. that we've been seeing. Um, we have run into a complication as well that we share a little bit later on and right now we're kind of in the limbo zone so it is a little scary because we don't know exactly what's going to happen but luckily and so thankfully we are almost in the second trimester and by the time you guys are seeing this i will be 14 weeks one day so when you're watching this i will be in the second trimester and we will be doing a gender reveal in october so yeah we have a lot of exciting things coming up and the crazy thing is is that we actually did some genetic testing as well that i'll share with you in another video but the gender is in that envelope and we haven't looked at it, but it's just so crazy because yeah, I just can't believe that somebody else knows the gender of our baby and we don't even know it. So yeah. it's just crazy. So. And I, please don't be like mad ass guys if we didn't tell you immediately. We really just wanted to wait this time yeah. and make sure everything was um, heading in the right direction. Um, 
just for our sake too. And so. Well, yeah. the miscarriage was so emotionally hard on both of us and just going through that process. And we told just, everyone, you know, yeah. and then to tell everyone that it didn't happen. It was, yeah. was hard. It was really hard. Um, Although I will say that it did make it easier in a sense though, because we had all of the support yeah, from all from of you guys, guys yeah. and from our families and friends. And yeah, so we did tell our families at seven weeks this time around still, just because, you know, they all knew what happened before and they're our family. So we did tell them early, but yeah, it was just emotionally draining and really, really hard to kind of, we just didn't want to go through all of that process again. We wanted to have you guys up to date with where we are when we shared the news. So like I said, you guys are seeing this right at the beginning of my second trimester and now you will be caught up to exactly where we are in the pregnancy. Yeah. So, so that well, way there's you're gonna do a, timelines, right? Um, you're gonna catch everybody up with like a, a recap, right? Yep, so I'm going to do a first trimester recap for you guys so that you know how everything took place from the time that I found out that we were expecting again until this week. Yes, you guys have a lot of videos coming your way regarding pregnancy, yeah. so hopefully you guys like that. If you do, make sure you click subscribe if you're not already subscribed, because yeah. we have a lot to share with you. And you know, I don't, something about this pregnancy just makes me feel so good and so lucky and so blessed because we lost our first baby and just having the chance to for this to happen again, like just, it's such a blessing. Because I know there's a lot of women out there who struggle with infertility. And it's just amazing that we can even get pregnant like so quickly. I just, I can't believe it. So, yeah, we're extremely yeah. fortunate. Mm -hmm. um, and everything's, I guess, going a lot smoother in this pregnancy. Um, we have our own house. Yes, we're in the middle of setting it all up. Yeah. But mm -hmm. um, we have like a nursery room yeah, it's now. Gonna be Hello. Whoa. I guess I need to move it. You got really excited. I got really excited. Yeah, this room that we're actually filming in right now is pretty much empty. There's only a couple yeah. of things in here that I know are going to be in the nursery, but this is going to be our nursery. So well, It was going to be the office until yeah. we found out we were pregnant. So, yeah. um, of course, the nursery Yay. takes priority. Of course. Um, yeah, so everything for, has been rolling more smoothly. You're not working now, which I can't imagine how you would do it, you know, with... Um, the symptoms, the fatigue, teaching full time. Um, yeah, props stress. to you guys who can yeah. do that. Getting your class cool. ready, like, man, and you were, that first trimester was tough on you. Man. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. It was tough. Yeah. So, and I'll go into more detail about that, you know, in some of the later videos, like the recap video, but there are a lot of things that have been different with this pregnancy. Like Chaz said, you know, it's just, it's a lot more calm. When I was pregnant the first time, we were in the middle of moving. We had our 10 year old foster daughter that we were trying to get situated because we weren't able to bring her with us. So that was really hard emotionally and physically. We had to like pack up her boxes, which, but emotionally it was just really draining. It was very stressful and yeah. hard on both of us. Um, so we had that going on. I had the end of the school year. So I was trying to pack up my classroom and- The car accident. Yeah, oh, the car accident. Yeah, yeah. I was in a car accident. If you guys haven't watched those videos, I'll link them down below, but it was just so hectic and everything was happening at once. It was very stressful, you know, and then having the miscarriage on top of all of that was just so hard. Yeah. It was just, it was so hard. And yeah, like Chaz said, just now we're in our new house. I'm not working this year. I'm just doing YouTube and, you know, I'm just staying at home. And we get a fresh start been, too. You know, yeah. down here is, it's awesome. So nice. Yeah you can have a lot more time to focus on yourself this time around. Yes. Uh, I feel like last time you were giving to, to everyone else, you know, was, um, mm -hmm. you were, and now you can actually just focus on yourself. And I think you and I both are probably in a, a lot better like headspace now to um, have a baby. And, yeah. you know, it, it just worked out, the, you know, as soon as we got down here, not too long. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. Well, it was just like we could finally relax. Yeah, so, you know, having this little one on the way is actually helping us kind of move forward in the whole process because dealing with the miscarriage was so hard. Mm -hmm. And until we kind of were able to, I don't know, I guess feel settled and we have the joy of this new little baby 
And not that it will ever replace the first baby, but yeah. it just is helping us to move forward. You know, mm -hmm. in our backyard, now that we, we actually bought this house, our first house that we've ever purchased. Yeah. And we have family all around, so it's perfect. But we planted a white dogwood mm -hmm. tree, a flowering white dogwood tree in the backyard in memory of our first baby, Dakota. Yeah. And it is actually the Easter tree. If you don't know the story of the dogwood tree, I will try to link something down below so that you can read up on that or watch a video just to kind of so you know the story, but Chief, Chief moved the camera, sorry guys. <laughs> Doesn't it, but it bloom in April? It blooms, all white? yeah, like March to May, it depends on yeah. probably where you live, but mm -hmm. it blooms all white, which to me represents, you know, heaven and angels and- And that's when we lost. And that's when we lost our first one, yeah. yeah. So if you look at the story of the dogwood tree, Jesus's cross was actually made out of a dogwood tree and so I just think it has a lot there's a lot of meaning behind yeah, so, yeah behind you know planting that tree in memory of Dakota here at our home mm -hmm. and you know honestly this home will probably be in our family for a long time because we have so much family around and it's close to the water we love yeah. the location so we're not planning on selling it anytime soon yeah. and I don't know. It's just, it's a beautiful way for us to look out mm -hmm. and see the blooms. Watch it grow. Yeah, watch you know, it grow. So. Yeah, and it's beautiful. I just, I love like being able to look out and see that tree and knowing that our other baby is here kind of watching over our new little mm -hmm. one and, you know, still here part of our family. So it's really special to us. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. For me, this one, um, this pregnancy still isn't that real yet because of uh, yeah do you guys want to see my bump so far <laughs> it's not anything i'm 13 weeks i'm wearing workout shorts actually you guys because it's hot so yeah it's getting there yeah i wasn't really in shape that much before <laughs> so i don't know i feel like i've been pregnant forever though because we got pregnant the first time in that's, february that's what's also kind of like yeah. makes it not real for me as September. Well because you've been pregnant for so long but you look the same for so long <laughs> so like i and besides the symptoms which you've really had this time around yeah you are are still pretty normal you know yeah You're, you're not poking out. Like nobody that doesn't know me would think that I would be pregnant. Like they might have just thought that I had, you know, too and much pizza or something. And it's hard for me to imagine there's a, a human growing in there. Yeah. You know, that's what's... It's like about three inches long already. Can you yeah. believe that? That's crazy. Three inches. Yeah. I can't believe it. That's... I literally <laughs> can't. Like I'm... Until it's in my hands, is mm -hmm. you know, or I see it moving in your belly. Yeah. That's really weird. Yeah. It's like an alien inside of you. <laughs> alien. Yeah. Yeah. It's so cool though. Um, but yeah, it's still kind of. Um, I'm getting more and more excited, but you know, I'm really ready for your bump to start showing. Yeah. Yeah, and oh, I just I'm really looking forward to our next appointment because I just want to make sure that everything's still okay. It was okay last time that we went, but there was something that came up that my doctor was a little concerned about. So. Yeah. Like I said, I'll share that with you guys in another video, but anyway. Oh my gosh, yeah, so we are just so blessed and we just feel so thankful to have a little one on the way again and yeah. to have you guys on this journey with us. It's just been such an amazing journey to have you guys feel like you're part of our family and yeah. it's just so nice to have your love and support. So thank you guys so, so much. So really quick before we go, I wanna share with you kind of when I found out I was pregnant, telling Chaz, and then we did have a pregnancy announcement photo shoot as well with my friend Kayla, who we actually went to high school with. Yeah. We don't live in the same town as her. She lives in a different town now as well, but we're still close enough to where she actually drove out and came to us to do this photo shoot. So she is amazing. She is a birth photographer. A, she does maternity photos, newborn photos, and it just worked out so well yeah. that we already knew her from when we lived here, she is the sweetest thing. I will link her business down below. If you are in Florida, up in the Panhandle, definitely check out her work. She is yeah. amazing. And she's so, gonna do our, our birth photography. She is, too. yeah. So she, we have her booked for everything, for maternity pictures, yeah. for our birth pictures. She also offered to do pictures for our gender reveal party. Oh yeah. So yeah, should That's be fun. That's really exciting. Yeah, so we're gonna share some of those pictures with you now and some of the footage that we got from that photo shoot. And I hope you guys enjoy. Oh my 
gosh, you guys. Oh, I look horrible right now. I am so sorry. I am a hot mess. As you guys know, we've been working on the house. Chaz is at work and I just took a pregnancy test and I don't know if I'm just, no, there's definitely a line, you guys. I am so impatient. Let's see if you guys can see that. I don't know. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am pregnant again. Oh my gosh, this is such a miracle. This is such a miracle. I feel so bad. I feel so bad for Chaz. I wanted to do this with him, but I'm, I'm too impatient. So, man, you guys. Oh. This is what we've prayed for. This is our little rainbow baby. I hope you stay, baby. I love you. Close your eyes. It's a thank you for helping me get back in shape gift. Okay. You have to read it. The little birdie told me that a little miracle is on the <laughs> way. Already? Yeah. Wow. It's barely there, but it's there. It's there. After every storm, there is a rainbow of hope. Here I am. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I thought you were. I know. Well, I couldn't, I can't, I couldn't wait. I couldn't yeah. wait to tell you. I just I had to tell you, even though it was dark. It wasn't dark. That's pre-workout. Right there. Yeah. I, I don't I, I don't I have a lot of Are energy you now. I am extremely happy. Why would I not be happy? <laughs> it's is that the line there? Yeah, I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? I was just thinking about that on my way here. Oh Sorry, yes. You, I know. <laughs> But it's all gonna be okay. It's gonna be perfect, it's gonna be great. Everything works out. Right. I love you. Everything is going to be able to, you know, it's nerve-wracking, especially what, what we just went through. I was just going to say something about my dad bod. I don't want a dad bod. <laughs> so I, we got to go to the gym so I don't have a dad bod. Right now I have a dad bod. You don't. All right, we're going to go get healthy. All right. Pray for us. <laughs> I love you. Mm. That is good. Mm -hmm. Mm
excited. We can't wait to meet our little one. I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye. See ya.